सो वेलकम बैक इन आर वाई टी सीरीज और यूट्यूब सीरीज इन विच वी आर डिकोडिंग प्रिलिम्स पी वाई क्यूज फ्रॉम नाइनटीन सेवेंटी नाइन टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर वी आर डूइंग दिस फॉर पॉलिटी एंड सब्सिक्वेंटली ऑल सब्जेक्ट विल बी कवर्ड टूडे विल बी कवरिंग फंडामेंटल राइट पार्ट टू पार्ट वन वी हैव कंप्लीटेड अर्लियर इन विच देर वर ट्वेल्व क्वेश्चन सो लेट स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वन ऑफ द इम्प्लीकेशन ऑफ इक्वेलिटी इन सोसाइटी इज द एबसेंस ऑफ डैश आज इन ट्वेंटी सेवेंटीन Privileges, restraints, competition, ideology. Fine. So, if we talk about equality, which dealt with Article fourteen to Article eighteen, Article fourteen to Article eighteen. Fine. And preamble may equality. Jo likha hai, it is wanting the state is wanting to achieve equality of status as well as equality of opportunities. Right. So, it is taking every step. So, Article fourteen talks about equality before law. it means everyone is equal in the eyes of law no one is above the law fine so no one is above the law matlab it is basically absence of any kind of privileges hai na any kind of privileges answer here automatically becomes a restraint kya hoga liberty ke case mein what is the answer here becomes a these are not there theek hai question number 1 a so if you see the fundamental rights we are covering the pyqs for 45 years जो ट्वेल्व क्वेश्चन हमने कवर किए इन पार्ट वन ट्वेल्व क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी सेवेंटीन से ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर में पूछे गए इन सेवन ईयर्स अराउंड सेवन एट ईयर्स वी हैव ट्वेल्व क्वेश्चन आज फ्रॉम फंडामेंटल राइट इट इज दैट इंपॉर्टेंट इन विच वी डिस्कस मोस्टली द क्वेश्चन आर आज मोस्टली ऑफ आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी वन है ना राइट टू प्राइवेसी आर्टिकल फोर्टीन इक्वालिटी बिफोर लॉ आर्टिकल सेवनटीन आर्टिकल एटीन है ना आर्टिकल सेवनटीन इज एबोल्यूशन ऑफ अनटचेबिलिटी एटीन इज एबोल्यूशन ऑफ टाइटल इसी से पूरे क्वेश्चन हैं ठीक ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर ऑल्सो एक्सिस्ट फाइन एंड राइट टू प्रॉपर्टी ऑल्सो देर आर फ्यू फंडामेंटल राइट्स और फ्यू राइट्स बेसिकली विच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू यू पी एस सी उसी से क्वेश्चन पूछता है आंसर हेयर इज एबसेंस ऑफ एनी काइंड ऑफ प्रिवलेज इन विच आर्टिकल एटीन टॉक्स अबाउट एबोल्यूशन ऑफ एनी काइंड ऑफ टाइटल्स है ना तो एबसेंस ऑफ प्रिवलेज ऑफ अर्लियर इंजॉर्ड बाय रूलर्स एलीड्स राजा महाराजा ठीक है everything upper caste fine abolition of untouchability to ensure that people are equal in the eyes of law sab equal hai sab equal hai in the eyes of law let's move to next question question number 2 in the context of india which one of the following is the correct relationship between rights and duties there are four options rights are correlative with duties second rights are personal and hence independent of society and duties rights comma not duties are important for the advancement of the personality of citizen and last duties not rights are important for the stability of state fine so you know that you need to know you need to have your fundamental rights right kyun to ensure that there is full development of character of an individual all around personality development you know when you have liberty to do whatever you like okay legal Fine. When you have freedom to do occupation, okay, what suits you or what like, what do you like? When you have right to equality in all sphere, but it, tabhi aapka character development hoga, all round personality development hoga. Fine. But apart from right, you should be also conscious of your duties as a citizen of India towards Indian Constitution, towards your state, you know, to protect and promote national heritage. to cherish the national struggle ideals right to renounce any kind of practices derogatory to women to protect wild life right these are your duties as a citizen you know so rights and duties are related to each other that's for sure fine so agar ye concept pata it will be very easy for you to roll to solve this question first option rights are correlative with duties yes it's correct rights are personal and hence independent of society and duties no whatever right you have it is basically related to society also theek hai to ye nahi hai rights not duties are important for the advancement of personality right sir duty is very important hai duties not rights are important wo uski ulta hai the answer here is rights are correlated with duties you know as are also you know as our pm also said that as a citizen you should be mindful of your duties apart from your rights you know 
आंसर हियर इज ए नाउ मूव टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री विच ऑन द फॉलोइंग आर इनविसाइज बाय राइट अगेंस्ट एक्सप्लाइटेशन इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया वेन यू टॉक अबाउट राइट अगेंस्ट एक्सप्लाइटेशन इट डील्स विद टू आर्टिकल्स आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी फोर ठीक है अब बेस्ड ऑन दिस नॉलेज यू कैन बेसिकली फाइंड आउट दिस आंसर ठीक है फॉर एग्जाम्पल एबोल्यूशन ऑफ अनटचेबिलिटी इट इज इक्वेलिटी है ना आर्टिकल सेवनटीन की बात करता है ठीक है इक्वालिटी से रिलेटेड है तो टू तो नहीं होगा एंड जब टू नहीं है तो अपने आप यू आर गेटिंग आंसर यूपीएससी आल्सो वांट्स यू टू बेसिकली फाइंड आंसर दिस वे ठीक है इट सेव्स योर टाइम जनरली इट इज सीन दैट जो क्वेश्चन बहुत लंबा होता है राइट इट इज इजी बट इट इज है नो ऐसा लग रहा है बहुत लंबा लंबा कुछ लिखा राइट इट इज वेरी लेंदी बट इट इज वेरी ईजी यू जस्ट नो टू पिक द राइट ऑप्शन इन एलिमिनेटेड Eliminating abolition of untouchability, which is Article 17, you automatically get the answer. UPSC also wants you to find out that. Okay. Article right against exploitation talks about Article 23 and 24, prohibition of traffic in human beings and forced labor. It is Article 23, and prohibition of employment of children in the factories and mines. It is Article 24. Fine. So Article 23, 24, 1 and 4. Protection of the interests of minorities. It is Article 29. Okay. Okay. 29 and 30. Basically. ठीक है लेट्स मूव टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट इज अ सॉल्यूशन पार्ट राइट टू क्वालिटी एवोल्यूशन एंटेजिलिटी अपने आप आ जा रहा है इससे आंसर नाउ कम टू फोर्थ क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज राइट टू वोट एंड टू बी इलेक्टेड इन इंडिया इज अ डैश फंडामेंटल राइट नेचुरल राइट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल राइट लीगल राइट फाइन सो यू नो राइट टू वोट इज नॉट अ फंडामेंटल राइट जस्ट जितना भी हमने किया फंडामेंटल राइट डील्स विद आर्टिकल ट्वेल्व टू थर्टी फाइव यू हैव इक्वालिटी फ्रीडम राइट अगेंस्ट एक्सप्लोटेशन फ्रीडम ऑफ रिलीजन कल्चरल एंड एजुकेशनल राइट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल रेमेडीज यहाँ कहीं भी राइट टू वोट नहीं आ रहा है इट इज नॉट अ फंडामेंटल राइट इट इज ऑल्सो नॉट अ नेचुरल राइट ऑफ योर्स वट इट राइट टू वोट एंड टू बी इलेक्टेड इन इंडिया इज अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल राइट बिकॉज इट इज मैंशन इन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन जब यू हैड सेवेंटी थर्ड एंड सेवेंटी फोर्थ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट नाइनटीन नाइनटी टू ठीक है इट इंट्रोड्यूस समथिंग इलेवन शेड्यूल ट्वेल्थ शेड्यूल एंड पार्ट इन पंचायत एंड म्यूनिसपालिटीज That gave right to vote and to be elected in India constitutional status. So, when constitution came, then it became a constitutional right. But the answer automatically becomes C. The right to vote and to contest at an election to a panchayat are constitutional rights subsequent to the introduction of Part Nine of the Constitution of India. Court gave separate but concurring judgment that right to vote and right to contest are constitutional rights of citizens. Now, this is important for you. राइट टू वोट एंड राइट टू कंटेस्ट बोथ आर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल राइट अब राइट टू कंटेस्ट बोल के फिर से पूछ सकता है यूपीएससी जस्ट नो दिस कम टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव इन इंडिया इफ ए रिलीजियस सेक्ट और कम्युनिटी इज गिविंग नेशनल स्टेटस और गिविंग द स्टेटस ऑफ नेशनल माइनॉरिटी वॉट स्पेशल एडवांटेजेस इट इज एंटाइटल्ड टू नाउ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन रिकॉग्नाइज टू टाइप्स ऑफ माइनॉरिटीज रिलीजियस माइनॉरिटीज एंड लिंग्विस्टिक माइनॉरिटीज सो कम टू दिस क्वेश्चन देर आर थ्री ऑप्शन it can establish and administer exclusive educational institutions right so article 29 article 30 talks about that the president of india automatically nominates a representative of the community to lok sabha ha yeah, kabhi suna it is very weird right so it is not correct so agar second hat gaya to apne aap one is correct it can derive benefits from the prime minister's 15 point program it can yes it can right the question lagbhag 1980s ka hai ठीक है वी जस्ट नो दैट इट कैन डिराइव बेनिफिट फ्रॉम द प्राइम मिनिस्टर फिफ्टीन पॉइंट प्रोग्राम विच टॉक्स अबाउट वेलफेयर एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ माइनॉरिटीज तो इट कैन यस जब भी ऐसा क्वेश्चन आएगा इट कैन इट कैन नॉट रिमेंबर यूपीएससी अपना आंसर की एक साल बाद निकालती है ठीक है मेनी थिंग्स आर पॉसिबल इन बिटवीन दैट ठीक है तो अगर कैन है जहां पॉसिबिलिटी की बात हो रही है तो जनरली गो विद द फ्लो एंड जस्ट मार्क इट एज राइट राइट आंसर हियर इज सी नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स Which of the above is or are human right or human rights under Universal Declaration of Human Rights? Fine, human rights. Now we have done earlier in our earlier videos we saw that generally, जब भी UPSC ऐसा क्वेश्चन पूछती है, always go with the broader option, right? Because it is declaring at the universal level for all countries. ठीक है? And we know that Western countries are progressive in terms of their rights. ठीक है तो ये सब तो इंक्लूड होगा ही फॉर श्योर 
so right to education for sure right to food yes right to equal access to public service yes it can right the answer here automatically becomes d always go with the broad and positive option so the answer here is d fine this is explanation article 25 of udhr universal declaration of human rights says that everyone has a right to to a standard of living adequate for the health and well being of himself and or for his family including food clothing housing matlab basic needs and medical care and necessarily necessary social services and the right to security in the event of unemployment sickness disability widowhood old age or other lack of livelihood in the circumstances beyond his control it is talking about basic needs and cultural needs fine then these are explanation no need to go in detail of udhr next question freedom of press in india 1994 ka question hai freedom of press in india is specifically provided in article 19 sub clause 1a is implied in wider freedom of expression is guaranteed under the provisions of article 361a or it emanates from the operation of rule of law of the country or we talk about freedom of press in india it is a inferred right okay inferred right matlab explicit nahi hai hum we actually interpret it from article 19 so it is very sure that is it is taken from article 19 so this is not there this is not there fine is specifically provided in article 19 1a no it is 1a mein kya freedom of speech and expression fine it is implied it is inferred right it is implied right in the wider freedom of expression in guaranteed by article 19 1a yes it is not specifically provided but it is implied you can see can ask it again tell us in comment that freedom of press in india should be made explicit right or not fine the answer here is b okay it is implied in the wider freedom of expression guaranteed by article 19 1a fine next question the right of freedom of speech in india may be restricted if the freedom is used to 1991 ka question hai right so every fundamental right you get it also have some kind of reasonable restrictions with it for example maintaining public order morality public health these are some kind of reasonable restrictions which can be imposed by state so if you are inciting people to violence that is kind of restriction or that is kind of against the public order of the state fine so it is inciting people of violence okay maybe if you are inciting people to violence that your right to freedom of speech may be restricted okay answer here automatically becomes a fine propagate nationalization of the private sector level charges of corruption spread superstition this is violence right it is against the stability of state is wajah se okay answer here is a next question number 9 which one of the following is not a fundamental right fine you know freedom of speech and expression article 19 right to assemble peacefully and without arms again article 19 fine article 19 1 a right to assemble peacefully and without arms article 19 1 across b right to property ye abhi article 30 a hai right fine kab hua tha right to property was deleted in 1978 and as a fundamental right right to equality article 14 theek hai as you know fundamental rights is from article 12 to 35 automatically your answer becomes c the answer here is c fine now next question which of the following is not a fundamental right again some same type of question 1980 mein pucha tha 1981 ka hai right to equality kab ka hai article 14 right to property article 300a right against exploitation 23 and 24 right to freedom of speech and expression 19 so automatically it is not a fundamental right because our fundamental rights are from 12 to 35 theek hai kis type ka question puch raha hai dekh rahe ho usi type ka it is asking same question same themes again and again the answer here is b theek hai now 11th question acts and regulations validated by article 31 b are specified in dash of the constitution now if we talk about article 31 b theek hai it dealt with introduction of ninth schedule fine ninth schedule theek hai first constitutional amendment act say ninth schedule aa raha hai theek hai it is what was kind of a just imagine it as a schedule or a box in which anyone can be anything can be put and it was not open to judicial review it was beyond judicial review during that time now through ir kohelo case it is open to judicial review theek hai but during that time when it was when it was introduced in 1951 through first constitutional amendment act 
anything which can be put under nine schedule it was beyond judicial review it was brought for the land reform to ensure that land reforms to ensure that land reforms are implemented across the country for redistribution of the resources now nine schedule is very important abhi bhi aapne dekha hoga 23 24 recent mein nine schedule bahut puchta hai theek hai second first constitutional amendment act 1951 है ना यूपीएससी इज ऑलरेडी आज की जब ये हो रहा था व्हेन दिस वाज इंट्रोड्यूस हु वाज अ प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड ऑल राइट तो जस्ट इसको अच्छे से पढ़ना है नाइन शेड्यूल इज द आंसर दीज आर ऑल रिलेटेड टू सेवन शेड्यूल व्हाट इट आंसर इज डी नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर 12 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड इन द फंडामेंटल राइट्स इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया यू नो इक्वालिटी क्या है 14 है फ्रीडम ऑफ रिलीजन है 25 ठीक है 28 बेसिकली इक्वालिटी 14 टू 18 फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच एंड एक्सप्रेशन 19 वोट इन ऑल इलेक्शंस ये नहीं है इट इज नॉट अ फंडामेंटल राइट इट इज अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल राइट इट इज अ लीगल राइट इट इज अ स्टैट्यूटरी राइट बट इट इज नॉट अ फंडामेंटल राइट तो आंसर हियर इज ऑटोमेटिकली बिकम्स सी सो विद दिस वी कंप्लीटेड वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द फंडामेंटल राइट्स पार्ट फ्रॉम 1979 टू 2024 आई होप यू लाइक द सीरीज एंड यू आर सीइंग द ट्रेंड दैट यूपीएससी इज आस्किंग फ्यू ऑफ द फंडामेंटल राइट्स रिपीटेडली एंड रिपीटेडली i am listing some things which are important for your preparation first constitutional amendment act 1951 second ninth schedule third fundamental right related to equality and freedom they go through in the detail and you are basically good to go to score more than 95% marks in these topics thank you everyone